Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. What is me? You go and go flow. Go flow. Yeah, go flow. Ah. Come on. I can't in your life and in my life and in the life of your family because uh, it takes a child to be born and it's a proud for the family to say i want your daughter we are so proud of you and if proud we are proud of you we want you to keep it out keep our pride in you the womb you're going in we will know that that womb is good or that womb is not good through you. The womb you are going in, it is our prayer and hope that this marriage will be blessed in Jesus' name. Everything you put your hands in for your grandparents, the first, the second, and the third generation, we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen! Your husband will love you to the fullest in Jesus' name. Amen. And you will love your husband to the fullest in Jesus' name. Amen. Their house will be filled with children in Jesus' name. Amen. And all of them will be educated to the fullest in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Okay, Adam, if you are coming to give my only advice, you are there expect me to say good here. You got me a dear to press chakra. You got already vest. You got already vest. The man, you're not crying, you're just grab my woman for me. The woman that can make the woman that can make the hot water for me. The woman that can come and lay rest. You're kind of grab on you see your camera. Yes, it's going to be happy. And I'm happy. But I just gave you small little advice. The mama. The queen people say gender equality. But traditionally, you know, gender equality. Don't, don't challenge, don't challenge your husband. You get what I'm saying? Don't challenge. Whenever they do something to you or he does something to you, please find your family. Please take your company somewhere. Don't challenge him. You will fight. You get it? I beg you. The next thing I want to tell you, whatever you all whatever you will do, you all learn to make plans together. You all learn to discuss. You all learn to communicate. Where you are having good communication, the relationship will last. You do not allow friends to intrude into your relationship. Yes, I say. They will break your relationship. I saw your husband in play. I saw your wife this play. And then you take it and you begin to move with it. It will destroy your relationship. Don't allow us as parents to eat, to eat, to eat and rub your relationship. No way, no way. Don't allow my brother your knees. Go flow, you quit. You quit. Don't allow your people, your ma, your pa, to improve your relationship. The two of you, you put them together, you face it. The time you are approaching all your ma were not there, your people were not there, your face it far. Anything that comes, you are going to your bedroom. You are discussing, you are harmonizing, you are naked to your bed. You are get outside. You get it? When you do that, that your relationship will last. Your relationship will survive. But when you start allowing people to join cases, when you start allowing people to say, yes, I say, you are a young relationship. Very true. Amen. And in short, to conclude, to conclude, to conclude, you are on another business. Hey, my sister, you ready? Why are you my ready? My woman can't meet me, I can't meet her. She can't meet me, I can't meet her. Now, shut up there. The day you can say, I want to do something, don't meet you. The day, the day you tell you, I want to do something, you don't meet you. Now, I'm ready. You get me? Now, shut up. Now, I'm not going to go. Now, I'm not going to go. Thank <laughs> you.